Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to be sharing my next big project with you guys and a huge announcement. Kristen and I got an office. I'll show you guys around. This is officially our empty office tour. I am so excited. Christian's behind the camera right now, so I'm gonna walk you guys through the plan with our whole office, warehouse, studio, workspace. It's gonna be amazing. So let's get started with this huge space here. warehouse has always been Christian's dream to have because he has these two beautiful cars here. He loves to work on cars. He's going to be building out his cars even more than they already are. So this whole section of the warehouse is Christian's world. I will let him take over more of those details over on his channel. So make sure you guys subscribe down below. Let's move over to the studio space. This side of the warehouse here is what I want to use to be a studio space. I want to have backdrops down here. We might even be doing a flooring change. We can have lights and this can be a creative studio space. We do have a staircase back here. I'll show you guys what's upstairs later on, but underneath here, I kind of wanted to create a bench or some kind of under stair nook. Still trying to figure out what's going on here, how we can maybe cover up that eyesore, but I think this could be really cute, have a little pendant light, you know, have this be like a little nook for the studio space. So, oh, I'm so excited, it's gonna look so cool. We also have a bathroom down here, so I'm really excited to transform the bathroom because right now it just looks like a boring commercial bathroom. I wanna make it look like a restaurant lounge bathroom, something really funky and cool. So I'll take you in here. Ta-da! The bathroom. I definitely want to try some of the peel and stick flooring in here and do like a really funky flooring to cover up just the basic flooring we have. Maybe even wallpaper, cool lighting, a new mirror. It can look so much better than this, you guys know. So stay tuned for bathroom makeover. It's for sure coming. Now I'll bring you guys into the front room of the office. This is the first space you walk into when you come in, and I'm gonna call it entryway coffee bar lounge. It's gonna be like the cool spot of this whole office. This is where you enter in here. These vertical shades are definitely going. We're gonna be putting in some roller shades, modernizing that a bit more because these are not my favorite. They keep falling down, it's a problem. Anyways, moving over here, I wanna make this back wall here like the front entry where you would have a mirror, storage to hang up your bag, maybe shoe storage, make it feel a little bit more homey. This wall, since it's the first wall you see when you walk in, I wanna make this like a highlight accent feature wall. I also wanna turn it into a coffee bar. So I wanna do a cool console table here, turn it into a coffee station with cute coffee machines, mugs, and have it be kind of like a welcome area. So that way anyone coming into the office can use this space and it just instantly makes you feel happy. Now onto one of my favorite areas of this office, something I'm really excited to transform. I think this is where you're gonna find me the most and that is this side of the office right here. turn into the office lounge. So we're gonna have the coffee bar that way. This is gonna be like comfortable seating, stylish seating, accent wall, cool lighting. So I'll share with you guys my design plan for this space because it's probably gonna be one of the first makeovers you'll see. And you'll see that it will influence the rest of the office design with the color scheme and the textures and the shapes. It's gonna be so cool. So here's a little sneak peek into my design plan for this lounge room. I'm going for more of like a dark, moody, retro, contemporary vibe in here. Something totally different than the house. 
I want the house to feel light, bright, and airy, and I want the office to feel completely different. So I'm gonna be using really cool shaped furniture, different fabrics that I can't normally use at home because I have cats, and it's just gonna be totally different than anything I've done before, and I'm really, really excited about it. So I've been planning out this whole project using the coolest new tool called Milanote. It helps me plan and organize my entire design project because I can make my to-do lists on here, I can save images to create mood boards, I can bring in links to all the different products that I still need to buy, I can save things from pretty much anywhere and bring it into this Milanote board, which has just been game changing. So thank you so much to Milanote for sponsoring this video. It's super easy to use because you can add in an extension to your internet browser. So whenever you're online shopping or just browsing, you can save images and save links and bring them right into your board. So it really makes it easy to kind of save different things on the go so you can access them later on your mood board. You can also create boards within your board. So my entire board is called warehouse, but I also have the podcast nook board. I have the kitchenette board. I have the coffee station board. So I can really separate everything, but again, have it all in one place. I love using Milanote when I'm out and about as well, because you can access it from your phone. So if you have the Milanote app, you can look up your mood board, you can save things on the go. And I like referencing it when I'm shopping for different items to see if it's really gonna work with my whole design plan. I'm usually very overwhelmed when starting a design project. I usually have a million tabs open on my internet, a bunch of different notes and links and screenshots and emails that I just don't know how to keep organized. So Milano has totally changed the game there. I absolutely love it and I really, really think it's the best tool for organizing any kind of creative project. It's absolutely free. You can sign up for your free account using the link down below my description box. I highly recommend it. Let me know down below in the comments if you have tried Milano before and let me know what you guys think of the design plan for this space. Now we feel super lucky to have a double story office space, or at least I do because I actually love the railing. I wanna create a cool gallery wall, make this super stylish and make this a big backdrop from the other side of the warehouse. So it's gonna be like a cool transition from the downstairs lounge to the upstairs office space. Welcome to the upstairs office. This is gonna be a multi-purpose space. So right here, right when you walk in, I wanna turn this into a kitchenette kind of bar area. We'll do a mini fridge, a countertop, shelving, tile, all that kind of stuff to make this into the office kitchenette area. This will be perfect to have because we can eat up here, grab water, do all that, and use this space over here as an eating area, as a meeting area. It's gonna be filled with a long table, multiple chairs. I wanna hang some lighting. We have these huge windows, so it's great lighting. It's a great space to meet and have some lunch sometimes. Over on the opposite wall, I wanna turn this whole area into the workstation. I do all of my editing still, so I'm on the computer more than you can imagine. So you'll find me here, and I wanna turn this into like a cute office space, lots of storage, nice surfaces. Again, accents, color, excitement. It's gonna be fun. It needs to be a fun place to work. Should I tell them what we're gonna be doing in that corner? Uh, yeah. Okay, we have a mini announcement in this big announcement video. For those of you guys wishing and hoping for the Chris and Chris channel to come back, we are coming back in podcast fashion over in our podcast nook. Dun 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 dun! This is gonna be the Chris and Chris podcast nook. It's super cute. It's really cozy. I can see a great Chris and Chris backdrop here. A little table, chairs. We're gonna sit and chat. 
It's gonna be so much fun. And I love that it's kind of pushed away. It's not in the middle of everything when we have the camera gear out and all the mics. You know, the gear can get messy looking. So we're gonna keep it back here, make it look really cute, and it's gonna be set up to use all the time. So if you are not subscribed to the Chris and Chris channel, head over there right now. I will leave it linked down below so you guys can subscribe and get ready for our first podcast episode. our empty office tour. Clearly this is the biggest project I've ever taken on. It is such a huge blank canvas so I'm so excited to get started on the transformation. So make sure you guys stay tuned for lots of makeover content coming soon. If you're as excited as we are make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming makeovers. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have my notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!